Ano po titiyakin ng gobyerno yung sustainability ng pag-ibig fund, lalo na sa mga pabahay projects nito? Well, I think the, uh, hindi na kailangan patunayan kasi sa apat na put dalawang taon nakita naman natin uh, na yung pag-ibig fund, self-sustaining talaga, hindi lamang self-sustaining. Kung hindi, eh, nakita naman natin ang laki-laki na ng ang dami ng membro, 2.6 million members. Ang, naibigay, ang naging income nila is 44 billion, 42 billion ang dividendong naibigay nila. Kaya't makikita na maganda talaga ang performance ng, uh, ng uh, pag-ibig fund. Kaya sinasabi ko sa kanila, dapat ipalaman natin sa taong bayan na yung pag-ibig fund, ganito ang naging performance. Para naman malaking tiwala nila na masasabi natin, pag linagay ninyo yung pera ninyo dyan, uh, talagang lalaki yan at hindi, wala, hindi magkakaproblema, hindi mawawala yung, yung savings ninyo at saka yung investment ninyo. So, I think the record, the chairman's report that we heard today speaks for itself. And uh, that will, but we will, uh, beyond the report that we heard this afternoon, uh, we, will, we will explain to the public uh, what Pagibig is for and how it has performed over the last 42 years and to give them the confidence to save and to invest with a fund. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. Mr. President. Sir, see Mr. Ivan Merina of GMA7. Hello, Good Mr. Good President, sir. Yes. The senators are uh, calling for government to have a comprehensive plan to address an impending water crisis, especially now that El Nino is underway. Yeah. Uh, what are your marching orders, sir, especially with the Department of Agriculture? since we are also yeah. expecting uh, an impact yeah. on irrigation and uh, might eventually impact on food supply. Well, Thank you. They, uh, they may not have heard the fact that we have organized already the Office of Water Management uh, precisely to address this problem of, uh, in fact, I was uh, uh, just recently, uh, I spoke on precisely this subject on what were the uh, elements that we really have to get into place because we have a serious problem. Never mind, uh, kalimutan na muna na, taisan tabi muna natin yung El Nino. Kahit walang El Nino, may problema talaga tayo sa tubig. And I'm talking about fresh water supply, drinking water, uh, irrig irrigation water. Ito lahat ay kailangan natin talagang tignan. So, what we have come up with, with the, the, well, we have, a, we have an overall plan uh, in that uh, we are changing the way that we water, that we acquire the supply of water. And we are hoping to shift, no, we're not hoping, we're going to, we're going to shift from the majority of water sources now, which is, uh, we always dig wells. Uh, whereas, what we really should be doing is taking advantage of surface water. So that's one element. And secondly, yung mga infrastructure, uh, mga flood control, mga irrigation, siyempre, yan, lahat yan, eh, talagang eh, binigyan natin ng diin para mas maging maganda. Ka, dahil, ang basa sa agrikultura naman, alam naman natin, ang pinaka, pinakamahalaga na para makakita ng magandang produksyon ay ang patubig. At uh, yan ang titignan natin. We have already identified, in terms of rice production, we have already identified uh, certain varieties, hybrid varieties especially, that will be, uh, that do very well during the dry season. Uh, so, pinalit, pinapalit palitan natin yung variety para to take advantage of the different qualities of the different varieties, especially not only of rice, uh, but also of the high value crops. Dahil pag dry season, usually yung ibang lugar na hindi nag-alaga nag, nag, uh, ng, nag, uh, ng palay ay uh, uh, high-value crops ang kanilang um, ang kailang tinitignan. So that's, those are the, those are the, uh, um, the so those are the measures that we have already put into place uh, that are specifically for the Department of Agriculture. But again, the water management problem that we have in the Philippines uh, goes beyond, uh, because it's water, it goes beyond uh, just agriculture. Of course, agriculture is a, a, an extremely important part of it. But we are talking about irrigation, uh, water ir for irrigation, water for power production, uh, our management of, uh, of surface water, so flood control, and for irrigation as well. All of these things we have already put up together, we have already together a overall plan. Uh, now <laughs> we have to implement it uh, because we have to put together. There are many agencies that are concerned when it comes to water management. 
So we have to make it a more cohesive. That's why nagtayo tayo ng Office of Water Management, which presently will be attached to uh, uh, the Office of the President and with DNR. Uh, but we are hoping down the road, but on mga bills that have been filed in the legislature in both houses, na itinatayo ang Department of Water Management. And that's precisely what we are trying to face. We already have a problem. We already, but then there's now the new factor, or not so new factor, of climate change that we really have to deal with. And we, uh, the good thing is that I, we have seen many examples of water management around the world, which we can emulate. Na pwede natin gayahin dito sa Pilipinas, bagay dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi naman, hindi natin siguro dapat, hindi may mahihirap, hindi katanggap-tanggap na ang Pilipinas kulang sa tubig. Dahil alam naman natin, hindi basang-basa ang Pilipinas na ano, we are a tropical country. Uh, and so it's just really a question of managing our water. We have always, we, we have kept, we kept postponing this problem over the many, many years at every level. So it's time to, to put it together, to put in a cohesive plan na masusundan ng lahat ng LGU, masusundan ng lahat ng mga agencies of government. Thank you. So last question from Maricel Halili of TV5. Hi, sir. Magandang hapon po. Sir, the International Criminal Court rejects the appeal of the Philippine government to suspend mm -hmm. the probe on uh, drug war in the country. Mm -hmm. May we have your thoughts on this? Ano po masasabi ninyo? Ano po yung next move natin? We don't have a next move. That is the extent of our involvement with the ICC. That ends all our involvement with the ICC. Because hindi na tayo pwedeng mag-appeal. Uh, mag, uh, uh, the appeal has been has uh, the appeal has failed, and there's uh, in our view there's nothing left there's nothing more that we can do in the government, and so at this point we essentially are disengaging from any contact from any uh, communication I guess with the ICC. Uh, we are back to the uh, uh, the position that we have, all, we, we're back to, we, we ended up in the same position that we started with. And that is we cannot cooperate with the ICC considering the very serious questions about their jurisdiction and about the, what we consider to be interference and practically attacks on the sovereignty of the Republic. So that's pretty much it. There's, we, have, we have no longer any recourse when it comes to the ICC. We have not been involved uh, with, the, with, the, with the actual action. Uh, merely as a comment, we would comment, and the appeal is part of a comment, but we have not appeared as a party in the ICC because we do not recognize the jurisdiction of the ICC.